Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm deep in the Shire today. Actually, I'm just by the A25, out just outside Guildford near um, uh, Newlands Corner. And a couple of places I'm showing you today. One we've been to before, um, but it's a fascinating place. I just feel like a bit of meditation. So, uh, in the air. so I brought you back to the Silent Pool. It's really clear here today actually. When I was here last in 2019 it was really murky. It's almost like a Florida spring as I say on other videos. I will link that previous video below by the way. And so this is a natural spring, plenty in Surrey. Natural spring that comes down from the North Downs. The North Downs is just up there. And it's a very popular area. Lovely in the summer. Sometimes you get really turquoise waters. Yeah. <laughs> Silent pool distillers. Private, no public access. Trespassers will be distilled. Oh, well, that's interesting. Last time I was here, you could walk all the way around. This is new. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Um, well, it's on the other video. I can walk further down. I won't go about the legend. The legend of the silent pool. Of the woodcutter's daughter. I am going to go on about it, actually. The woodcutter's daughter. She was bathing in the silent pool. And Prince John was quite taken by her and came into the water on his horse and she moved further and further back getting scared and drowned and her ghost is said to still haunt here. It isn't. It's all, it's all a myth made up by Martin Tupper, the Victorian chap Martin Tupper. More of him later. Just walking up here. There's the uh, the vineyard. Look at that. You have Silent Paul gin distilled here. I've never tasted gin in my life, so I don't even know what it tastes like. But apparently, it's very nice. I'm more a red wine person, as people know. But if you go up there, there's actually a World War II pillbox just up this route. Uh, go right up the top. And you're on the North Downs Way. That's a lovely stretch actually from Newlands Corner right down to Ramore Common. Keep seeing loads of pheasants around. They're from the Watton Estate. Remember from previous videos, the Watton Escape, a uh, Watton Estate. Keep out, keep out, keep out, private property, keep out. Yeah. Oh, lovely day. Spring is in the air. Look at that. Albury Organic Vineyard. Ever since I was old enough to drink wine, I've always dreamt of owning a vineyard. It's taken me more than 40 years to get there, but I'm now lucky enough to have fulfilled my dream. My dream. Working with a passionate team, producing great wine in the beautiful Surrey Hills. What more could I ask for? Nick Wenman, owner. Beautiful. Although the Silent Pool is a natural spring, this is Sherbourne Pond, and this was created in the six, sorry, the 17th century, in the 1600s. So that, that was man-made, but this is natural. Okay, a little visit to the Silent Pool again from my last trip in August 2019. Shot on this camera actually, same camera. 
I just got the Canon M EOS M50 at that time, so I was testing it out. I love, I still love this camera. So now I'm going to go on to our next port of call. Yep, someone's mowing. Or it's doing something with a saw. No, that's a saw. Or is this when I'm filming? Anyway, as I'm in the area, I've come back to one of my favourite churches in Surrey. It's under the care of the Church's Conservation Trust, no longer used for worship. And it's St Peter and St Paul's in Albury, on Albury, in Albury Park. Beautiful church, as you can see. I'll link that video below as well. I know I'm repeating myself a little bit here today, but I just love this church. Um, should be open. Let's have a quick look. This beautiful church is Saxon in origin. It's very old, very old. Um, that's interesting. When I was here last, if you see the video below, I got one of my bushes, which is probably Earth Energy Current, around here. I wasn't even thinking about it, actually. I was just talking, and then poof, right, here, right here. I did say in the last video, I'd bring my dowsing rods and do, um, do some dowsing, but I didn't bring them today. This is a quiet contemplation area. I love those things in churches where you can just come here and just chill out. It's only me here at the moment. Oh well, yeah, it's quite strong here. I've got to admit, it's very strong here. Consecration cross, 1140 hung here, 1140. Whatever they're soaring or mowing is very loud. Well, here's a little one. Church St Peter and St Paul, your church tour. Yes, there's a hatchman up there, which um, I learnt about last year, hatchments. This was in use up until uh, the new Victorian church was built. I think also called St Peter's, um, just down in Albury Village. Lots of people, looks like some sort of uh, jubilee celebration. Yeah, the Church's Conservation Trust do a lot of good work in keeping these um, old buildings alive, especially if they're not used for worship anymore. Nice brass in the church. We're going back to 1200s probably. Oh, the cat's out of the bag where we're going next. This is a Roman font drum, believed to be from the Roman temple at Farley Heath, where we're going next. The font itself is now used in the Albury Parish Church, so that's Roman. There's a wall painting up there, uncovered, medieval wall painting. I just love this church, it's probably one of my favourites. I'd always wondered, I've known about it for years, and when I came here um, two years ago, um, it was a real like bucket list job, you know? I know you're probably saying, but Mark, it's another church. Yeah, but this one's a bit special, especially when they're not used for worship anymore, um, and you can still visit. Image niche, niche, I don't know how to pronounce that, circa 1300. I don't even know what that is. So if someone who knows these things, do tell me. And this is interesting. William Altred, uh, 1573, circa 1573 to 1660, buried in the ruined chancel, mathematician, tutor to Christopher Wren. Christopher Wren, wow. And rector of Albury for 50 years from 1610 to 1660. Incredible. 
the tutor to Christopher Wren. There's a couple of very old doors. I don't know if you know this is that, actually that old, this door. I could be completely wrong on the back entrance. Um, it's hard to say, isn't it? Now that is an old door. That is an old door. I'd love to know how old that is. Okay, we'll leave this lovely church here in Albury Park and head down to Farley Heath and see if we can find the remains of this, uh, uh, this Roman temple. Let's go. Here it is. Obviously not much to see, but just the footprint really, the remains of a Romano-British uh, temple from about AD 100. And it was in use right up until the end of the Roman occupation. You see the original walls here. There was just a temple here. I don't think there was any settlements around. It was just used as a temple, or there'd be no evidence to support uh, other buildings. The Farley Heath Roman Temple was probably built sometime before AD 100. It was set within a larger precinct. The site remained in use down to the end of the Roman Britain, down to the end of Roman Britain in the early fifth century. So, the Romans were normally tolerant of the religions of the people that they conquered. In Britain, the Roman and native gods were worshipped together. This uh, Farley Heath Temple is a typical example uh, of a Romano-Celtic temple. Lovely. It's interesting here. Um, its location was chosen with particular care. It occupied an elevated position with the ground dropping away on three sides. The temple would have been visible for a long way across the heathland at the time. It seems from excavations, as I said earlier, that no permanent structures were built other than the temple within the precinct. It was nevertheless frequently visited during its period of use. It may well have been not been only used for religious purposes, but also occasional fairs and markets. Now I mentioned old Martin Tupper earlier at the Silent Port, I've mentioned him a few times in my videos. Here he is, he did some excavations here, and there's a little quote from him saying, Many a day I have whirled away upon hopeful Farley Heath, in its unique antique soul, digging for spoil of possible treasure beneath. Martin Tupper, 1850. I think some of the stuff he did find ended up in the British Museum. Um, yeah, temple. And this has been here, like... Two, nearly 2,000 years, 2,000 years. Oh, lovely, the sun's coming out. Beautiful. Spring is in the air. Um, we're doing well on this video today, aren't we? An ancient spring, an ancient church, and an ancient temple. It's not bad. So, I've never been to Farley Heath before. I'm still discovering places in Surrey that, I've, you know, a county I've lived in for a long time. Um, but I'm only just seeing these things, especially north of the A3. I am going to do a big trip, well, not a big trip, but uh, a day trip to um, where Runnymead, where Magna Carta was signed. There's some interesting um, places around there that people have recommended. I mean, I've known of them, but I've, it's, um, you know, you're going more into sort of real North Surrey right on the edge of uh, near Basingstoke. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go and do that uh, very soon. That should be interesting. Yeah, it's very, very peaceful here. Farley Heath. It's getting warm now. 
also uh, as of uh, last night obviously you're seeing this weeks later uh, I booked my first foreign trip uh, in four years because of circumstances so I'm going back to Florida I know I love Florida um, so I do some trips up to St Augustine I think I'll do the Florida Keys next year it's all down to money isn't it um, unless my channel explodes and I make loads of money from advertising <laughs> um, but yeah I'm going to go back to Florida in September which would be lovely yeah I'm looking forward to that get on a plane again um, a couple of other places I'd really like to visit as well I'd like to go a couple of things were cancelled at the start of the lockdown um, so that would be quite interesting I'd like to go back to um, Greece uh, Italy um, Malta so we'll see how how it goes financially that I can do that and do some videos from there so yeah what we're gonna do now though is head down to Shamley Green I've got a pub lunch I'm a quick walk around the walk around the village never been there before. I think I've only been there once when Paul and I were doing the North Downs way and we got the train to Shamley then just walked straight down to Guildford so I've never I've never been there before so let's go Okay, the road is blocked, so there's no access uh, down to Shamley Green. So we're taking a diverted route, which hopefully will still lead us in the right way. Um, hey, life's an adventure, let's find out. So here we are in Shamley Green, in the Surrey Hills. It's very nice. Um, We've been here before, so I've only been here once. But before we have lunch, have a quick look around and uh, look at some of these lovely uh, houses here. Nice little pond there in the village. That's the road we would have come down, but obviously we can't. We came a different way. about large village greens like in Brockham it's a very large village green they had the fireworks which we did a video from recently not the fireworks but from Brockham yes yeah, it's quite a big one well it's a nice little village actually there is a church it's Victorian though so um, and there's nowhere to park up there so we won't visit but I think it's now time for lunch in the Red Lion on Farley Green and see what treats they have in store for us Radio up and the blinds put down You love it when nobody's around I wanna call out pound town, but you bite my lip, don't make a sound. I'll be down if I'm leaving without you. Mm. Mm. So that was a lovely pub lunch in the Red Lion at Shamley Green. Say so Shamley Green's really nice. I'm still kicking myself. I'm still in Surrey. It's weird, you know, places you haven't been to before. I could be anywhere. I'm still in Surrey, but there you go. Uh, very 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 nice thank you Sean the landlord a uh, really friendly guy great host thank you very much so yeah uh, an ancient spring an ancient church and an ancient temple not bad for a video is it and a little village walk 
hope you enjoyed the video please like subscribe all that normal stuff i keep going on about and i might get a few more subscribers <laughs> thanks very much for your uh, attention and we'll see you next time take care